Basin of Nevada inspired this sand frame. In fact, both the Mojave and Great Basin Desert extend into Nevada. Deserts are dry and arid, though a common misconception is that they are lifeless and cold. Many plants and animals have adapted to a lack of water. Temperatures can also be very cool at night. For your frame, you will need a frame, a flat brush, colored sand, wax paper, scissors, and craft sticks. Let's travel to the desert with Cheryl. Let's take a look at our frame. Actually, what we're going to be doing is using stencils and glue and sand to do it. So let me show you how we start. You're going to be starting with a frame, any kind of frame you want, something with a large wide border on it so you can get a lot of design on it. And I've painted it black, but of course you can paint it any color you want. We're going to be using a stencil today for a design, and I wanted to cut out the motif I'm going to be using. This square motif is one, and then this other little one here is another one I'm going to be using. And I just want to cut it out for ease of use so we're not using the whole stencil. And I want to cut out as much border around as I can. So I'm going to put this over to the side, and let's get started. Like I said, we're going to be using glue as our base. So you just want to squeeze out some glue on a plate, and then I'm going to add my paint color to it. I've chosen my sand colors and you want a color of paint that closely relates to that sand color. So you just want to add some glue, just throw in some paint, swirl, uh, swirl it around, get it mixed together here with a craft stick and just it's ready to go now. Um, what you want to do now is I'm going to start with this little square right here and I'm going to use um, one of the wedge sponges to apply the paint with the glue mixture. So you want to pull some out, tap into it. You don't want so much paint that it goes underneath your stencil. I've got my sand ready here and I'm using the same coordinating color. Set it down where you want it, position it on that corner there and you want to pounce in your glue mixture. Carefully lift this off and pour your sand on and then you want to press it and that gets it into that glue. Now off to the side here, I've got a piece of wax paper and you want to, so you can keep that sand, just pounce it off and you can continue using that. You can just um, pour it right back into the bag. I want to do all four corners at once. It's easier than trying to get all the colors on there and then you've got a mixed amount of sand over here. So I would do all four corners of that first. Now let's go on to the next color. I want to line this up with the corner here, leaving about a quarter of an inch edge. And I'm going to be using my lighter turquoise. Again, pull some paint out, tap into it, pounce carefully on your frame. You might need a little bit more, but you don't want so much that it goes underneath. You want enough so that it will hold that sand in place. My next color. And again, and it doesn't get into that other one because it's almost already dry. So again, pounce off on your next piece of wax paper and see how pretty that is. Now the color will really show up with that sand. It just accentuates it. I'm going to reposition that stencil and now I'm going to do my two other colors here. Again, into the paint, glue mixture, pounce on, evenly applying. You might want to do one color at a time rather than what I did here, mix them all together. That way it, it won't dry out on, you, on the plate. And again, the stencils can be reused. Just clean them off in water and you're ready to go. So add more sand and pounce off. Now for the detail, I used the glue straight out of the bottle. And what you want to do is just make sure that you've got a nice clean tip. And this is all the detail part. Just draw a nice little bead of the glue, whatever kind of design you would like. And I'm even going to put a dot in here. Okay, and then add your glue. Add the sand over the glue. Now you have to be kind of careful here. You don't want to press it in. And you just want to lightly pounce it off. You're ready to go. Let's look at the frame again. And then Kathy will have a great craft idea for you.